In light of everything we've been researching with QAnon and that whole movement, I wanted to go back and touch on some of the problems with the cartoons and externalizing this hierarchy and bringing, you know, the stuff, the sins that they have kept in the closet all this time and they want to bring it out into the mainstream and they want to make these things appear normal normal so they start indoctrinating the children very young so the most recent one was actually netflix it wasn't on disney it was a netflix original cartoon that they had put these phallic images in so the children to expose the children to them and of course we all know we've seen this for ages as long as we've been alive anyway but I especially wanted to point out in the intro here is that I had done a video on this on a different channel of mine back the very first day when the news broke several months ago. And the very first several comments prove, prove that this externalization of the hierarchy, that this programming of our children has worked because several comments right off the bat, um, we're basically saying it was okay. So they said, well, children need to be exposed to this, uh, these phallic images and stuff in their cartoons. And another one said that, well, how can you say, if you believe in God, how can you say, you know, the, the same argument they give for homosexuality and stuff, this person parroted back to me about pedophilia. They said, well, if God, God made people this way, how can you say it's wrong? You know, which was to remember was the same exact argument that they started out when they were externalizing uh, the hierarchy with the homosexual movement and that and all of that sexual perversion, transgender and all of this was, uh, you know, if this is how, what people identify as, then it's okay. So, uh, yeah, well, I saw, actually saw this on my, my video that I put up about them putting these pornographic phallic images in children's little tiny children's cartoons and the people, I thought they'd be outraged, but instead the first several comments were people defending it saying that well if this is how people identify if they are born with these desires then how who are you to say it's wrong you know if god made them this way and i thought you know it's everything that we said would happen when we said this is a slippery slope when you start glorifying and glamorizing sin and please don't try to tell me oh it's just a couple of crazies that commented and and pretend that this isn't happening that this externalization of the hierarchy hasn't been happening and they haven't been programming people to do exactly what these commenters did no this is their agenda this is what they've been doing this is what we talk about and try to expose in the QAnon movement about what has been going on so let's take a look at something more concrete here is Ruth Bader Ginsburg this is a supreme court justice of the United States of America. These justices are appointed for life. They stay in office forever until they die. They are, they are considered the supreme judges over, you know, making decisions over everything. And here is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Bill Smith, he did a really good video on this last week, and I'll put the link down there. You should really check that out because he has the articles and some stuff if you want to go further into this. But, you know, she was appointed, obviously, by the Democrats. She's very liberal, leftist, and she wants to legalize prostitution. She wants to lower the age of consent to 12 years old so that grown-ups and adults can actually have sex with little children, little, you know, grade school children. And she thinks that's okay. And this is in her own words. This is in her own writings. So it was known before she was appointed to be the supreme judge over all Americans. And, you know, of course, this is what we're talking about in the QAnon movement with the prostitution rings and human trafficking and pedophilia and all of this and here is our Supreme Court justice saying yes adults should be able to have sex with grade school children and she wants to lower the age of consent to 12 years old it's it's absolutely ludicrous it's absolutely wicked and it's absolutely happening and here is the QAnon post. It's post 749 from February 12th of 2018. And it's a picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And of course, this is the Asian connection. And, it, you know, it talks about Hanoi and stuff. But I wanted to bring it up because if you watched my last video, I made some connections with the Asian cartels. 
and all of that trafficking. And then the very next day, Q dropped this post and it had Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you know, and an Asian connection. So you might want to go back and watch that video if you haven't already. So anyway, I'm going to get to that article or the most recent one caught on Netflix of them trying to program our children. People, we have to be vigilant. If you have children, especially, you have to be vigilant. You have to be aware. Well, this is disgusting, but we have to talk about it. Somebody has to talk about it. By not talking about it and letting it be pushed to the background, we have let this Pizzagate pedophile thing like take over everything and instead of like Frankenstein all of us grabbing our burning torches and chasing this monster down we all just don't talk about it well here we go again phallic image hidden in children's cartoon on Netflix leads to outrage and jokes this is the image it's obviously a penis drawn on this uh, here in the background and why i mean it's these artists this is you know that that's sexual child abuse that's child sex abuse we act like it's not but the definition of child sex abuse doesn't just mean to rape children it means to expose them to uh sexual materials that are above their age range so you can be a flasher and you know go up with your trench coat and flash a kid that's child sexual abuse you can be a neighbor who comes over to you know your friend's house and pulls out pornography and shows it to you know a little six-year-old girl that's child sexual abuse so this stuff that they keep doing to our children sexually abusing them in these children's cartoons it's got to stop somebody has to rise up and care and you know i i put up videos like here this i put this one up about the uh the children being exposed being made to take part in a transgender ceremony at school in kindergarten their teachers sat them down and and you know th these kids don't even haven't even been through puberty yet they don't know anything about sex sat them down and traumatized them psychologically abused them with all of this talk of uh, boys turning into girls and girls into boys and then one of the little kids went in the bathroom as a girl changed clothes and came out in a transgender reveal and she made all of the children as in the kindergarten class take part in this and the little girls went home crying and look at this how many well you can't see because it's cut off the screenshot this has been up for months and 134 views nobody cares so you know we had disney they they're putting the penis in their uh art cover art for the for their dvds and oh yeah it's always a cover story here this was an, a disgruntled employee that had been fired or whatever so he put that in as you know like flipping the bird to disney no he didn't no he didn't these people are pedophiles and they are desensitizing our young children. They are desensitizing them by showing them penises, by sexually abusing them in their cartoons and stuff so that they can bring about this Pizzagate pedophile lifestyle that they all do. And the whole transgender thing, here's Mickey Mouse, you know, oh no, that's that's not a penis no i mean that one might be questionable it's not to me but for people who don't believe in this it might be and then you know everybody remembers the rescuers here's the naked lady in the window now we're there it's only a couple of frames so people didn't see it for years and years but see how fast it goes by see so i mean this is what they're doing they are putting pornography in our children's in our children's uh cartoons and it has happened just today again another story just broke phallic image hidden in children's cartoon on netflix it's not just in the cartoons it's in the music it's everywhere look at this video i'm putting up of it's a justin bieber music video that everybody all the little girls go crazy and the mommies buy them little concert tickets to justin bieber and even the boys young boys there's your role model justin bieber really take a look at this video and look what there is the same thing with the penises and the foul and the drugs the subliminal message it's all there people this is disgusting I mean, look at this. This is demonic. It even says demonic stuff. I mean, you guys, Jesus is coming. God is coming. 
He is not going to tolerate this forever. And people want to say, why is there a great tribulation? Why would a loving God do that? This is the reason. This is the reason because this network has to come down. Trump can't take it down. We're not going to pass a little law. The Supreme Court isn't going to stop any of this. Nobody's going to stop it. We're not doing it. So God's coming and he's going to bring down this network. And yeah, it's going to be painful when the system falls. It's going to be painful for everybody who's still here for it. That's why it's called the Great Tribulation. But I'm telling you, there's no going into the New Age. There's no going into the Golden Age. There's no going in to the Millennial Reign of Christ until all of this is cast into the fire and done. We cannot have our children sexually abused every day of our lives and just pretend it isn't happening. God's coming. God's coming and he's going to handle this. God bless you guys. Brace up. Make sure you're found worthy to escape the judgments that are coming. Here's your warning. Here's your Bible verse. Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Get saved, people. Make sure, pray that you aren't going to be with the system that is coming down. Pray that you are going to be with the kingdom that is rising up. God bless you all. Love you.